Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. You know, we all saw the senator from New Jersey, Robert Mendez. He's all thanking all of those people that came to his farce of a trial. Hmm? You know uh, who appointed uh, Judge uh, William Walls to the bench? Huh? If I told you if it was Billy Bob Clinton, would that shock you? So what does that tell you? It tells you that this judge is a whacked out Democrat. Now, one of the most damaging pieces of evidence that the jury was not allowed to hear was about one of the reasons that Robert Mendez used to go down to the Dominican Republic with his ophthalmologist on his private jet. Well, they'd go down and have sex with underage girls. That piece of evidence was not allowed to be presented to the jury. Why? Because one of the young girls who was a witness changed her testimony. Don't know if she was paid off, she might have been. Don't know if her family was threatened or if she was threatened, she might have been. But that piece of evidence would have put the final nail in Robert Menace's coffin. When you take a look at all the allegations that are coming forward now about this kind of perverted activity, you know, Pizzagate, etc., etc., and this slime bucket was allowed to escape justice because this judge, who was appointed again by Billy Bob Clinton, who's obviously a whacked out Democrat, knew the ramifications of having him being removed from the Senate and possibly having a Republican put in his place. That evidence needs to have been admitted. Now I understand that the Senate, headed by Pritlford, Mitch McConnell, is going to hold a special investigation, an ethics committee investigation. Folks, you need to get this piece of information to him. He needs to know what evidence was not allowed to be presented to the jury. This guy needs to go to jail for a whole lot of reasons. That's sort of what I think. And again, I'm hopeful that a retry is in fact put in place, hopefully with a different judge, and that evidence needs to be introduced. There's no question that they're perverts. Robert Mendez arranged to have passports made available for a number of very young, attractive models to come visit so his ophthalmologist doctor could enjoy their company. Folks, if there's anyone that needs to be held accountable, he's one of them. As is George W. Bush. As is the entire Bush administration. And you know what I'm making reference to, don't you? There is no justice. Menendez himself said it. It's a matter of how much money you can afford or how much justice you can afford. Absolutely disgusting. And again, I'm hopeful that there's going to be a retry, and I'm hopeful that that evidence is brought in to the jury to listen to. Surprise, though. See, folks, I follow this religiously, like I followed a whole lot of events for five years. 18,300 videos were taken down by that monopoly known as Google. They, too need to be taken apart because they are a monopoly and they've taken away my First Amendment rights. I get all kinds of videos on that. If you even look at the videos that I've got up on my web right now, I've made numerous ones that I said, I wonder what the status is. I wonder why he hasn't been held accountable. I wonder why you don't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's a trial. He delayed it for almost three years. Three years. He needs to be tried, not in New Jersey, not in New York. He needs to be tried in a red state. Change of venue. 
and then watch what happens to that piece of crap. Thanks for listening. <laughs>